So the last little bit of, of NMR, stuff you need to know is to do with solvents and uh, the, the reference sample. Um, for, um, for any kind of proton NMR spectrum, we need a solvent which doesn't have any protons in it because otherwise the solvent's usually the greater part of the sample and if you put a I don't know, uh, uh, something in, in water, the H's in the water would uh, far override any kind of image that we'd see from the actual sample itself. So we use um, deuterium hydrogen 2. Of course, remember that if you have uh, two particles in the nucleus, a proton and a neutron in this case, then the spins tend to pair up and they cancel out. So uh, deuterium won't have any residual spin, therefore it won't take part in nuclear magnetic resonance. It won't give you a picture. Um, the symbol for deuterium, as well as hydrogen 2, is sometimes just written D. So if we had D2O, uh, that being the, the deuterated version of water, sometimes referred to as heavy water, because it's got a formula mass of, uh, of, of 20 instead of 18, um, uh, D2O would work as a solvent, as does CdCl3, um, the, the deuterated version of uh, trichloromethane. Or you could just use a solvent like CCl4 that doesn't have any hydrogens in it anyway. Um, this gives us a bit of a range. Uh, CCl4 is very non-polar, whereas D2O is very polar, So, and with CdCl3 somewhere in the middle. So if we, if we were dissolving something like, I don't know, an alcohol or a carboxylic acid, we might go for a more polar solvent. If we were going for a haloalkane or a, 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 just an alkane, we'd, we'd go for an, a non-polar solvent. So whenever there's a question on the exam that asks you to suggest a solvent, you can't just spit out all of those. You need to make a choice based on the polar or lack of polar groups. In, in the molecule. As well as the solvent, the other thing you put into the, uh, the NMR spectrometer is a reference sample. And the one that's used is tetra methyl silane or TMS. Why do we like TMS? Well, for a star, it's, uh, it's pretty non-toxic, but it's also unreactive. It's, remember, you, you might not have much of your sample, but putting into the, the NMR machine, we might have only made you know, a couple of hundred milligrams and we, we don't want to throw it away afterwards. So, uh, and we don't want it to react with uh, uh, anything. So we use, uh, we use a reference sample that's not going to react with it. It's also fairly volatile, which means that it's easy to remove afterwards. So we can just evaporate the, uh, the TMS off afterwards and, and separate it from our uh, all-important sample. In addition to that, if we look at the CH3s, all the protons are in the same uh, chemical environment. So, so the whole thing will only generate one peak. And lastly, think about silicon. Silicon's not an electronegative element. In fact, it's the opposite. It's slightly electropositive element. It actually, it's more like a metal is tending to, to give electrons away. So in terms of de-shielding, remember our de-shielded uh, protons, which have near electronegative atoms, appear down this end of the spectrum. But if if it was electropositive, it would be slightly more shielded. It's probably going to appear on, on the right there. In fact, by definition, 
Um, as well as giving a peak away from the sample, it gives us our reference. So appearing on the on, on the spectrum at zero allows you to, to, to calibrate your spectrum and work out where everything else is. So that's why it's called a reference sample. It's, it's there to refer to um, so we can, we can uh, get the, the, the numbers right for all the other peaks. Um, sorry, when I say from, from sample, I mean the, the thing we're testing, right? In this case, it was, it was ethanol, wasn't it? So it gives us a peak at zero, well away from everything else. It's easy to remove and it's unreactive, so it's not going to spoil our sample by reacting in some, some hideous way. And because all the protons are in the same chemical environment, it'll just give us one peak.